<laughs> Start the games. So, hi everybody. My name is Stefan Soa, and for the second half of my senior year, I participated in the capstone program at Newton North. When I thought of doing this internship program, I didn't really know what I wanted to do because I've never really had one specific interest. I've always been kind of all over the place. So I thought, what do I like? I like business. I like nice things. And I like people. So I thought of what kind of brings those all together. So I thought of maybe doing something with law, maybe something with um, like, I actually thought of like dentistry or something like that. But um, I ended up last minute thinking, hmm, real estate, that would be a great place for me to explore some interests. So I talked with Amanda and Amanda Samaha set me up with Suzanne McInerney sitting right there in the audience and we instantly hit it off and thus started the end of my great senior year capstone internship. And that's just a fun pick of me and Suzanne. <laughs> so where did I actually work? I worked at Remax Leading Edge in Newtonville, right next to CVS. Um, I worked under Suzanne McInerney, great real estate agent. Um, and the office was actually just redone. And it's a great um, space. It really encourages open thinking and um, creative work. It's a great new space and bright color, so it keeps it fun and a very energetic place. And yeah, I chose this place because I've always actually had a strong interest in real estate and it always captivated me in a way. Um, when we, I've only lived in Newton for about six years and when we moved to Newton, the process was, um, a long one, I guess, and um, I was always really, really interested in it. And when we would go and look at these homes in Newton, they were big, and um, we came from a smallish Cape Town, and so there were these big Victorian houses that we were looking at, and I was like, oh my gosh, these houses are so pretty. Like, I was always so interested in the prices and the square footage and the colors and everything like that. And so, um, yeah, I kind of learned that that was a something that I had a lot of interest in. And so um, I also knew it was a profession that would never die. Um, real estate never, there's never gonna be, um, people aren't gonna never want, not want homes. So it's never gonna be something that there's not gonna be opportunities for work in. I also knew that we lived in a good place for real estate. Newton is very, uh, very real estate-y. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I've always loved learning about business and just talking about business and money. My dad is a small business owner and he always taught me um, cool things about owning your own business and establishing a name for yourself. So um, I also knew it made people good money so that uh, always fascinated me. What did I learn at this internship? I learned a lot of things. I learned a plethora of um, facts and strategies. And so when you're selling or buying a house, there's tons and tons of websites that you need to, um, well, you don't need to, but it's good to use them. And <laughs> it makes it a lot easier. So I learned all these passwords and usernames to these websites. So. Um, one website, uh, a couple of them more so on the web, Exact Contact, VFlyer, OBO, MLS. Those are just all ways to um, advertise, organize, and um, just basically organize all the information that you need and to, um, yeah, so Exact Contact is um, a really great website that is basically your database for your contacts and, um, excuse me, and for all your contacts and info. So say you meet somebody and they relate to a house that you're selling, you'd put them under there. You can also put all the info for a house that you're selling or buying. You can list everything down to every detail. 
And um, yeah, if you ever need info for other things from there, you just go there, copy and paste it from there. So you put it in there once and it's there forever. So it's a great place to do all that. Um, VFlyer is just a way to advertise and uh, market a home that you're selling or buying. OBO is a website to organize photo shoots for a home because that's really important um, because that's how you show off a home and you want it to look nice and they do really good photo shoots for homes. Um, MLS is really fun. MLS is a way to look up homes, current homes, past homes, anything you want to know about a home is in MLS. So I would find myself looking up my friend's homes, my past homes, and <laughs> all these prices. Um, it was actually kind of creepy, but it's a really good, uh, it's really an awesome thing. I learned about staging a house, which I actually really enjoyed because that's kind of more the design and the artistic creative side of it. You, um, staging a house is basically getting a house ready for any op opportunity there is to promote the house. So we, me and Suzanne would go to these stores like Home Goods and we would pick out all these um, new things and we'd come out with carts full of home furnishing things and it was just really fun and um, but it's hard because you have to think of what's in the home and what you're buying and what colors are already in there and what you need to get and it um, works your brain a little but it's really fun. Um, I also learned what goes into a listing folder and that was actually the part of the internship that I probably had the most trouble with but um, I think I finally <laughs> towards the end got it. And that is the nitty gritty, all the technical information about selling the selling side and buying side of a home. So you have this folder and on the front it'll say the address and inside it will be all the um, purchase and sale documents, the, um, your lead paint, your smoke certificate, your everything that you need, and all the bank statements, all the mortgage things that you need to um, um, finalize a home or property to sell or buy. I learned, this was my favorite part, I learned how to sell a house, how to really, um, how to be a business person and how to get what you want, I guess. Um, Suzanne did that greatly. She was just really fabulous at saying the right things and acting professional and doing the job till it needs to be done. And I really liked that because that was um, kind of where you got to show off who you are. <laughs> yeah, so I learned a lot and that was really cool. So this part of my presentation is something that I actually started a really, well, at the beginning, I used to take notes and talk about things that I was learning. And so now this is actually my thoughts that I'm telling myself, but I'd like to share with you guys. So tip number one, these can be for anybody starting out a business, not just real estate or anything you want to do. Just start out now. Don't wait because time is money and money is what we want, right? <laughs> You also should establish yourself and create a strong and great database of contacts and relationships, or as we in the real estate world like to call it, your sphere of influence. Um, it's all about getting your name out there and creating positive, a positive name for yourself, which, you, which will help you expand and will let people know you mean business. Don't be cheap and keep it real. Don't ever shortchange anybody for your benefit. You should always go the extra mile when you can because it makes you look good, it's the right thing to do, and it's the job. You should always, um, this one was actually kind of funny. I always kind of knew this, but really when you're selling a house, this is something really important that you should know. Um, let somebody be right sometimes. I know that sounds a little weird, but um, if it means you get the sale, let them think that they're right. If they, cause sometimes you'll get, I mean, most of the people we dealt with were really nice and understanding and friendly, but sometimes you get these really rich, kind of arrogant people, and they <laughs> kind of want to 
walk all over you, but you're really running the show. But if it means you get the sale for that $2 million house, then you can let them walk all over you for a little bit. <laughs> My last tip to myself that um, I think is the most important one, you should always be active in bettering yourself as a businessman or woman. So that means basically keep taking classes and doing things that will help you learn more about your business. This will help you expand on things you already know and teach you things that you, don't, that you didn't already know. You can never know too much. In real estate, you're only as good as you make yourself, so get better. So Suzanne and I went to um, these classes. We took some classes and there were, well actually we went on a conference call for a long time that it was all about bettering yourself as a real estate agent. So there was people from Orange County in California and all these places around the United States. Um, and we were, they were all on the phone just talking about strategies and things you can do to keep progressing in your business, which I think is really, really important because, you know, if you think you're, if you think you're too good, then you'll stop at that point, if you know what I mean. Like you won't, you just need to keep going and keep learning. You should never be closed off to learning. Okay, so the, um, okay, so this wasn't in my slide, but I have a story. <laughs> um, my favorite, um, one of my favorite points in this internship was one day when we went to, um, we went to the shore, it was the Boston, it was the Harbor section of Boston where real estate is really um, high prices and some real luxury um, apartments up in that area of Boston. And I really enjoyed that because it's all about the glitzy, glammy apartments and that was really fun for me. And so we had this one woman and she wasn't really sure what she wanted. So we were kind of showing her a bunch of different types of apartments. And that day we saw three different apartments that were so different in so many ways. Um, like we saw one that was a little, it was a little old, there was a more vintage, but it was very classy and classic. And, and then we saw one that was really modern and new and um, fancy and nice. And then we saw one that was just kind of average. But that day was really fun because I got to see what your money would be worth if you make a certain amount of money, which is really interesting because, I mean, who doesn't want to think of having a nice home and lots of money? <laughs> that was a fun day for me. And it was nice in the city that day, so. It was a win-win. So to wrap up my presentation, my conclusion is I knew I had a interest in this, but I didn't know I had a passion in this. And so working with Suzanne and going through all these experiences, I now realize that I do have a passion and a love for real estate. I definitely see myself going into the business world and real estate at some point. Um, I realized my strong interest in this enhanced my interest. Um, I learned that uh, you have to be your own boss and your own team player to succeed. So before you can be a part of any other team, you have to ask yourself, what am I doing for myself and what am I, am I really the best worker that I can be? So that's also what I learned. I learned, I know I said this before, but you do have to keep it real. You have to be honest with yourself. You have to present yourself in a way that's honest. You have to do good work and you have to, um, you have to be real with people. Um, I, the last point, which is definitely the most important thing and definitely the idea that I drew away from this experience was you, if you work hard, you will get what you want. So Suzanne has worked at her job for so long and she really is the, what I think of the perfect business person. She is, she works hard all the time. She's always on the job and she's always doing things to better herself, which is very, very important to be a business person. So if you work hard and you keep bettering yourself, you will get what you want and you will be successful. Okay, so these are some fun pictures that I have next. 
So this is just one house in particular that I really, really liked. It was up in, um, I actually forget where it was. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> it was really nice, it was just built. It was kind of on this um, dead end road, but it was just a really well built house. It was like, I was like, wow, this is a really nice house. This was one of the, this was a picture from the day that I just talked about. I actually really hate that and the countertop, so I would have replaced that, but the hardwood floors and the furnishing was really nice, the um, stainless steel and they have a wine cabinet, so that was nice. <laughs> Um, this was also from that day. This is just a glimpse at some of the high-ender houses that we looked at. Um, this is basically what you can buy in Boston if you make a lot of money, which is, I think, fabulous. <laughs> they, um, that was one of the more classier vintage homes that we looked at, and um, there was actually a staircase in one, which you never, or like a more suburban staircase that you wouldn't, I didn't think you would find in an apartment in a city. And then that was just, that top one was just um, a really nice, new, just great building that I thought was nice. And that's Suzanne walking on one of the balconies. And it was right on the water, so that was, um, if I had that much money, I would definitely buy that. <laughs> that's me at a house in Selwyn, on Selwyn Road, and uh, it's in the South District. We, um, that, was, uh, in, that was a great house to for me to get experience in because a lot happened with that house. And I started, I got to watch that house get started and I got to see that house end. And um, it was just a great, it was an eye opener. It was great to actually see the process and be a part of the process. And that's a selfie with me and Suzanne. <laughs> um, well, yeah, there you go. That's my presentation. <laughs>